On cold days, when you could see your breath. Or on hot days, when the dress attire was as little as possible. There would always be the backyard welcoming me for a visit. I could escape to the backyard and monitor the sky day or night, and while singing or eating. But unlike other yards, there was always a place for me to stand or sit. When fear and depression made me scared or worry, I could always run to the backyard and look up at the peaceful, soothing heavens while laying back on my hair. When my mother would sometimes temper me ugly anger with punishment, the visions of me in my favorite place, the backyard, soon would clear my despair. On days of boring subjects at school, or when the time seemed to stand still, or days where the cartoons wouldn't fill me up with joy, I knew the backyard would be waiting for me, full of life to explore. In the backyard, I would experience the cycles of light, which had its up and downs, and survival, and grotesque gores. When there were hours of the day which needed to be wasted, my favorite place, the backyard, would always be there for me to investigate it. The insects of the backyard with their simple lives would calm me down from my previous activities and make me respect all of backyard's creatures. But on occasion, weather is created that prevents me from going outside, and I suddenly feel trapped within myself, trapped within my own thoughts and boundaries. Weather causes a reflection outside, as well as a storm inside my mind. When it would pour rain or when it would dump snow, I couldn't go outside and I couldn't push myself to different limits. The most vivid memory of weather preventing me from going outside is during Hurricane Katrina in Galveston, Texas, 2005. The wind, the rain, the trees, it was not safe at all to go outside. So for days I was trapped inside my own head. The destruction was brutal, heartbreaking. Two large oak trees in my backyard, where I used to lay and feel my safest, had fallen over the midst of this hurricane. As soon as the hurricane warning sirens and the flooding had stopped, I ran outside and sat in the damp, uncomfortable grass that looked as if it had been chewed up and spit out. Why my backyard? Why my safe place? 